So, do you want me to build you your own personal scoreboard? Well, all you have to do is just simply follow a few quick and easy steps. Just make sure to smash this like button of this video, smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications and then leave a comment down below letting me know that you have done these things and also leave a comment telling me what kind of squad you want me to build and I can do that for you. But without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It is your boy RRB Plays here back again with yet another FIFA 20 video, with yet another FIFA 20 squad builder. And as you guys can probably tell by the title of today's video, I'm about to show you guys an absolutely insane, beastly, overpowered 300k hybrid. This hybrid is absolutely insane. It will do damage in foot champions and in division rivals. So if you guys do like the sound of that, then make sure you guys do indeed stay tuned. But before I do get into this amazing squad builder make sure you guys do go ahead and smash that like button smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload but without further ado ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's waste no more time and jump into this 300k squad builder baby let's get it let's go <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see on your screens right now, for this amazing 300k squad builder, we're going to be using the 4 3 2 1 formation. But hold on a second, we're only using this formation just to get everyone on full chemistry. There is, in fact, an alternative formation that I do recommend that you guys use with this team. So it is very important that you guys do watch until the end of the video to see what formation I recommend you guys switch to. All right, so let's waste no more time and jump into the first player of this team and in that striker position we do have a beastly beastly in form the new in the new team of the week in fact he's 87 rated and he goes by the name of chiro immobile yes that's right guys this guy's absolutely insane honestly it looks like an absolute beast um yes he does have three star skill moves but he's got four star weak face six foot one and he is so so clinical in this game 89 finishing 88 long shots 81 um 88 shot power sorry 81 long shots 84 sprint speed and 76 acceleration i highly recommend recommend that you guys do slap a hunter card on him so his pace um his sprint speed and his acceleration does go up by a hefty amount um but also his dribbling is not too bad as well 84 ball control and 84 dribbling but this guy is literally a finisher in this game so i really really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up this inform immobile and loads of people play foot champ so a lot of people would have got this immobile card so even for people that did get this new um immobile card you, you know this is a good a good team to make around them but i do recommend you guys go ahead and get a mobile but let's move on to that left forward position now in that left forward position or the left wing position we're going to be using douglas costa and this guy is an absolute beast of a player i really do think this guy's underrated in fifa 20 honestly man i've used him before and he is an absolute beast i can't express to you guys his dribbling his agility is absolutely insane you guys are going to see that 64 finishing and immediately think that this guy can't shoot but honestly if you, you're just wrong you're just wrong if you think this guy can't shoot like honestly he is so so clinical i've literally played him in foot champs did rivals and he was so good his dribbling is amazing firstly let's just talk about that 93 agility um 91 ball control 92 dribbling and then his sprint speed and acceleration are absolutely insane 95 and 93 and then also he's got five star skill moves and four star weak foot but literally guys about his finishing he, he is clinical he is clinical and he can shoot he can score you know what if you don't believe me just just have a look at these clips honestly just just, just take a look I told you, I told you, this guy can shoot. I mean, I probably showed you guys about two clips there. I'm pretty sure um, one was a long shot, one, one was just a one-on-one. -on -one. But come on, someone with 64 finishing, you wouldn't expect to score, score those goals. I'm telling you, this guy can shoot. Believe me when I tell you that. So I really, really do recommend that you guys go ahead and get Douglas Costa because he's an absolute beast of a player in this game. And honestly, I don't see him enough in FIFA 20 and I don't know why because he is absolutely insane. So I really, really do recommend you guys go ahead and pick him up. But in that right forward position now, 
we do have an absolute beast again another napoli player well i say another napoli player there's no napoli players in the team but we do have hervang lozano again a lovely sweaty beastly player but very cheap in this game honestly does get the job done 91 agility 83 dribbling 81 ball control and then he's got 93 sprint speed 94 acceleration and a 76 sprint speed this guy again is very sweaty very overpowered very beastly in fifa 20 so i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up him because honestly a very very good card so i really do recommend that so let's move on to the right center mid now and in the right center mid we actually do have a center forward slash striker we actually do have Dries Mertens and don't panic guys he actually isn't going to be playing in that center mid position he's going to be playing cam or striker that's totally up to you because like i said i'll get into all of that good stuff later but what you guys need to do is literally convert to center mid because we're going to be playing um a wide formation um, and he's going to be playing cam or striker, not center mid, but we're only putting him here to get full chemistry, like I did specify at the beginning of the video. So that's why it's very important that you guys do watch till the end to see where to put the players in the formation change. But um, talking about Mertens, this guy's an absolute beast of a player, man. I really, really do love him in FIFA 20. He's an absolute beast. I have used him before. Again, his finishing, his dribbling, his agility, his ball control, everything about him is just absolutely insane. He's got 93 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, 86 finishing, 86 seven attacking position 81 long shots and a 91 dribbling 89 ball control um 92 balance and 94 agility honestly this man is just an absolutely beastly card he is so insane and to top it off he's got four star skills and four star weak foot i highly highly recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up man because honestly he's such a beast of a player but in that central center mid position we do have i guess actually no i was gonna say it's the, the last bit of the serie a um, part of this hybrid but we do have a right back that's from the Serie A but in the left uh, sentiment position we do have Adrian Rabio and Rabio is an absolute beast again a box-to-box -box midfielder can attack can defend he can shoot can just win the ball he's physical he's tall he's got good dribbling like honestly he's just a well-rounded player look at him man six foot four a beast a lovely box-to-box -box midfielder 74 sprint speed 69 finishing 81 stand tackle 75 slide tackle um 84 ball control so honestly man he's not too bad at all 85 short pass and 83 long pass a very overpowered card and also 83 strength but i really do recommend you guys go ahead and pick up rabio because he honestly is just a very very good midfielder because again he just uh, he does the dirty work but also does a nice um attacking work as well like i said he's a very good box to box midfielder in this game so i really really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but um to complete the midfield now we do have none other than the manchester city man himself fernandinho fernandinho the anchor the beast himself man honestly such a beast in this game 86 stand tackle 87 defensive awareness 76 strength 89 interceptions this guy is honestly so good and also 83 long passing 86 short passing i really really do recommend you guys go ahead and get fernandinho man because honestly he is such a beast in this game a very very overpowered um so let's move on now to the full backs now and uh, in that left back position we do have yet another manchester city man and he goes by the name of benjamin mendy the frenchman himself um the 80 rated honestly not too bad yet again again is a very very sweaty fullback 85 um sprint speed 79 standing tackle 80 slide tackle um and yeah man overall not too bad as well got good short passing which can be pretty useful at times in his dribbling and a ball control isn't too shabby a lot so I, if i say so myself as well so honestly benjamin mendy again a nice cheap but sweaty card to use so i really do recommend that you guys go ahead and um pick him up but also actually i just want to say if you guys actually don't like uh benjamin mendy i'm going to quickly stick a, an alternative they are around the same price i think angelino um is actually a bit cheaper than him but yeah man if you guys don't like uh, don't like benjamin mendy you can go ahead and use angelino a very beastly overpowered sweaty card as well literally I really do like Angelino, as you guys can see there, man. I played 31 games of him. I do like him in this game. I personally think he's sweaty good at defending. But as you guys can see there, man, 84 sprint speed, 87 acceleration, and a 74 stand tackle and 73 slide tackle. I really do think he's very good in this game. So if you don't like Benjamin Mendy, then I really, really do recommend you guys go ahead and pick up um, Angelino. But anyways, enough with that. Let's move on to the right back position. And we do have yet another Napoli man. And he goes by the name of Marquit. It's another Frenchman. And Marquit is just a cheap beast just like benjamin mendy and angelino man he is cheap but sweaty and does get the job done um high medium as you guys can see there 86 sprint speed uh 83 acceleration 77 standing tackle and 77 uh slide tackle as well so again he isn't too bad at all 
just cheap, but honestly, he does get the job done. He does put in a shift at right back, man. He really does. So I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up. But guys, let's move on now to the center of partnership now guys the center of Barque partnership is absolutely insane so let's start off with the right center back position we do have the psg man himself um kim pempe presidential kim pempe the 80 rated man himself but plays like an 87 rated is an absolute beast of a, a beast of a player in this game 73 acceleration 77 sprint speed 84 strength 78 70 81 stand tackle and 81 slide tackle and 83 interceptions again i really really do like Presnell can pay six foot two as well, but honestly, does get the job done. A very beastly overpowered card, too. So, I really do recommend that you guys go ahead and uh, pick him up. But in the left center back position to partner up with Kim Pempe, we do have his fellow uh, PSG partner in the name of Marquinhos. And where is the Q? Because I can't find it. Oh, there it is, right there. As you guys can see there, Marquinhos again, very, very good at defending, solid at the back, man. Very, very good defensively. As you guys can see there, 86 interceptions, 86 defense when it's 87 standing tackle and 87 uh slide tackle this guy again is just a beast and also to top it off he has got 89 jumping so i really really do recommend that you guys pick him up man because again just a beastly dominant center back so i highly recommend that you guys um do in fact use him but um to finish off the team but not the video because like i did say um i'm going to be showing you guys an alternative formation to use because this is not the formation i'd recommend you guys using at all um with this team that is in fact a better one um but in goal we do have rufier and again rufier is very cheap but again he just gets the job done like it's just as simple as that he does what he needs to do he makes the saves 85 goalkeeper positioning 82 reflexes 84 handling 82 diving and 75 kicking but in my opinion kicking is li literally the least important stat you have because you rarely rarely boot out the ball um with your keeper well especially me anyways i personally don't use it that much so i don't really feel like you need it anyways um but yeah man in terms of being a shot stopper and making saves this guy is definitely um very very overpowered so let me quickly show i actually know there's two points i have to make because i know you guys are going to be seeing this right now and you're going to be seeing oh it's 86 chemistry first things first Mertens is obviously full cab once you convert him to centre mid, so that's one thing. Convert him to actually even as a cab, even centre forward to cam, just make sure he's a cam and he'll be on full cam. Um, because as you guys see there, he's got two strong links and a weak link. And then also Douglas Cross is on five cam because he's a left mid. At least convert him to a left wing and then he'll be on nine chemistry. And then Fernandinho at CDM. Um, is fine he's on eight chem but if you want him to be on nine then just slap um, a cdm to center mid position change on him and then everything should be good so just make sure all the position changes are in place guys all right for full chemistry so now let's go ahead and move on to the formation change the formation that i do recommend you guys do switch to in game you can do this by either creating a custom tactic preset or um by going into game pausing it and changing formation is totally up to you um so once you're in a 4 2 3 1 formation the left cam right cam central cam striker with the two dms and then four at the back obviously once you do change to this formation the 4 2 3 1 you're gonna have dres mertens or immobile as the cam that's totally up to you i literally either of them will play good there but i guess if you guys are um if you guys do prefer placey pacey players up top then go ahead and put immobile at cam and mertens striker um, but Douglas Costa does go on the left and Lozano goes on the right and then Fernandinho and Rabio. Um, Fernandinho and Rabio obviously are going to be your two CDMs and the defensive lineup stays the same. Um, but with Mertens and Immobile, it's totally up to you who plays Cam, who plays striker. Um, but yeah, man, it depends on, on your play style. But I think Mertens will be better off striker and Immobile better off at Cam. But that does complete the 300k squad builder. If there are, in fact, any of the team of the week cards that are currently out right now, um that you guys want me to build a team around then just let me know in the comment section below but this 300k uh, team is absolutely insane it's very overpowered so i highly recommend you guys go ahead and purchase it it will do damage in foot champs and in division rivals but if you guys did enjoy this video then make sure you guys do in fact smash that like button smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload but it has been your boy rb plays and um yeah man if you guys do want me to build your own personal squad builder then make sure you guys do follow the steps like i mentioned at the beginning of the video make sure to like the video subscribe turn on post notifications and leave a comment down below um let me know you've done these things and then asking me what kind of team you want me to build for you and i'll do it for you but without further ado guys i will see you in the next one peace out